hey guys welcome back to hackathon's nmap series tutorial so nmap series in this video we will be discussing about three major topics one is ex ip exclusion second one is aggressive scanning with the nmap and third one is uh, ip version 6 scanning so we are going to do these th three things in this video first uh, let me explain you like uh, each and every explain you about each and every topic so that after that i'll show you in practical so before getting into the video i have given all the links in the description box that is uh, my previous uh, nmap series videos links are in the description box you can go and get it there and uh, if you are a, a complete beginner then definitely you have to watch that then only you will be understanding these topics okay so come let's get into the video the first one that we are going to discuss about in nmap is exclusion ip exclusion okay so nmap uh, i've given all the introduction all the necessary in introduction before itself so let's uh, let me explain you this thing so ip exclusion when it uh, when it will be very useful for you means uh, if you are if you are targeting if your target is a bigger one and if you are going to do a massive scan over a, a biggest target then there will be uh, a lots of ip address in that targets okay you are doing a, an a, Thing like uh, you are doing you are going to do a penetration testing and uh, your IP ranges uh, somewhat you are going to do a scan against the largest IP range from 100 to 200 so it uh, for example I'm telling in that IP address you want to uh, exclude some particular IP address from scanning so at that time this option will definitely helpful for you because uh, you, if you use this option then you can then nmap won't scan that uh, particular ip address that you have mentioned and uh, mentioned while uh, typing the command okay so it won't uh, scan that particular ip and uh, uh, after that it will uh, omit that particular ip and it will scan all the remaining ips so let me show you that one in practical so that you can easily understand First, let me find out the IP address of google.com because uh, google.com is somewhat a bigger target. So it will be uh, easy for us to understand. So it will be very much helpful for us to understand this, uh, especially this one. So what I'm going to do is just uh, going to give an IP range of 100. So here uh, you can see uh, there are uh, some first let's see what are the live systems uh, that are available in between these ranges so that uh, i can exclude something okay so what i i've done is i've done a i've done a basing i've started a basic nmap scanning for the ip ranges uh, from 78 to 100 to see what are the live systems are available in between these ranges okay Let's wait uh, till the scan completes. It's around 78.06. So these are all the IPs uh, are available. So first, let me separate. Let me segregate these IPs into a list. Text editor. So copy. okay so around all the ips are uh, available in this network because uh, previously i have told you that uh, google is the largest network so most of the ips will be active in the same case here also so from 78 to 100 almost everything is live uh, so we can choose any of that so i have chosen these uh, uh, six ips okay for our uh, practical session let me clear it off again now what i'm going to do is uh, just i'm going to scan i'm going to do the same scanning but this time i'm going to add a option called exclude okay exclude this is what the option you have to use it uh, when you are uh, trying to exclude an ip address uh, in this set of ip i'm just going to exclude this one okay that is uh, the ip range 99 okay so I'm just uh, excluding this IP from this uh, overall range. Okay. So now what Nmap will do, right? Uh, it it won't uh, scan this target. It will just skip uh, this IP, this particular IP, and it will directly move on to 100. Okay. From 98 to 100. So it won't scan this uh, 99. 
because we have added the option called exclude uh, so that's why uh, it won't uh, scan this IP okay so here you can see the result it has uh, skipped uh, 99 port I mean the IP address 99 uh, from directly from 98 to 100 it has moved from moved uh, directly from 98 to 100 okay this is one technique and uh, you can even also exclude a list of IPs from the target range uh, I'll remove these things like okay so I've uh, removed around two from this list so now I'm going to save this as this uh, in my home folder as exclusion.txt save so I have just uh, saved this file this list of IPs as a text file okay uh, this is what the command that we have used previously in the now what you need to do is uh, just you have to instead of uh, IP address you need to mention the file name exclusion.txt okay instead of uh, the IP address you have to pass the file name here uh, if you are if you have kept in an another path you have to uh, mention the entire path here then only uh, nmap can directly take that file into uh, into consideration so make sure you are giving the correct path so most probably you have to uh, it's better to keep in the same folder where you are working okay so it's, it will be very much helpful for you and one more thing don't forget to add this this option because uh, previously I have used only exclude but when you are using uh, a, a file to ex for the for this exclusion you have to mention you have to add file after the exclude okay so it means uh, hyphen hyphen exclude this is what the option you have to use for excluding a list of IP address so now let's scan let's see what nmap is doing for that let me open that exclusion.txt file so that we can confirm that Google has haven't uh, scanned those IPs okay you can see here uh, Google has uh, skipped 99 and 100 okay so you can see it has skipped 99 and 100 97 96 and uh, straight away we are moving to 80 whether to see whether it has scanned or not okay so you can see 79 and 80 after 78 it has skipped 79 and 80 like this way you can use this options to exclude a list of IPs or uh, if you want to do uh, if you want to exclude IP range even you can use that option also that is uh, the previous one okay like this or you, you can also mention the IP range here okay like 98 from 80 to 90 okay let's mention like this if you wish to exclude a range of ips you can mention here it or here itself also okay so you can use the same option and uh, you have to just you have to mention the ip range uh, here i have used the ip range of from 80 to 90 okay okay the scan has been completed now let's check uh, whether it has done or done it or not yes uh, from the IP range 80 to 90 it has skipped all the IPs from 80 to 90 okay this is what the option mean for and uh, you can use it while ta targeting or uh, while your target is a uh, largest host with uh, lots of IPs in it okay thing and the next one that we are going to discuss about is aggressive scan the other two part uh, that mean ag aggressive scan and uh, IP version 6 scanning is simple so just uh, we have this I think we have discussed about aggressive scanning previously but let me explain you again that uh, okay sorry n map okay I'm just uh, doing an aggressive scan this uh, aggressive scan will do lots of uh, will try to capture a lot more information from the target that is from google.com okay uh, generally you can you, you can be able to get the OS details that means operating system details and uh, trace route details and all the port open port details with much more information okay when you when you do a normal nmap scanning you won't get those information so while doing aggressive scan there is a high possibilities of getting some crispy informations okay so that's what uh, 
uh, the aggressive scan scanning is useful for when the scanning is going on let's wait okay the scan has been completed and uh, you can see the difference between the normal nmap scanning and uh, this aggressive scanning so as as mentioned previously you have get a uh, lot more information about that particular port or i mean open port okay so here you can see that it has given some uh, header details I, I mean the response um, request and response headers so here these are all the response headers uh, it has given some details about that and if you are uh, targeting some port 21 like uh, so like some most um, important ports you, you there is a high possibility of getting information okay so especially uh, if you have worked with uh, HTB, then you would know this uh, okay no problem in that uh, let, let it be aside so like this way you will be getting some more information about the target while doing aggressive scanning you have to go through each and every line then there will be uh, you will be getting more information okay here are some some, uh, some domain details are there subdomains i think uh, so here you can see okay like this way you will be getting more informations and at the last one last uh, at last you will be getting trace route details but here uh, there is nothing it's okay no problem like this way uh, you will be getting some informations about uh, more information about the target so that's what the aggressive scan is meant for that's all uh, you can use it uh, while doing penetration testing so it's the most common thing and the final one is ip version 6 ips uh, that is uh, scanning uh, ip version 6 ips so ultra tools i'm just i'm just going to convert uh, ip version 4 uh, i mean version 4 ips to uh, version 6 ip previously i've tested this um, so that's what uh, it's working perfectly so i'm choosing the same um, website here you can see this is a google ip you can confirm here okay so this is a google ip uh, that i've got so go and it's loading the result uh, here we go this is the this is the ip version 6 ip so what i'm going to do is just going to add a parameter called hyphen 6 and pasting the ip address and hitting enter so ju by just adding a parameter hyphen 6 you will be uh, you can able to scan a version 6 ip address okay so sometimes you will your target will uh, give you a version 6 ip uh, ip address at that time you can add this parameter into your scanning so that it will be uh, very much useful for you to scan the version 6 ips okay so the same result you can see here okay you can see the IP uh, origin IP okay so hope you have uh, enjoyed this video guys uh, if you have any doubts uh, regarding this topic you can directly contact me I have dropped all the social network links in the description box uh, you can directly contact me at any time so have a nice day guys uh, thanks for watching